So at this point we're rebuilding the front drivetrain. I will start from the steering system. Uh, here on the ground I have these uh, accordion rubber gaskets. Uh, I think you already saw them in one of my old videos. They belong to the, to the steering system. So uh, this one uh, is the old one. It belongs right here in this space, in this empty space. So uh, the new ones will take the place of the old ones because they're really rubbish. They're destroyed. The time did its job on this on these gaskets right here. So if you remember, the first thing you have to do is take out this ball joint. So you will open uh, the nut. It's a, an anti-opening system nut that uh, you will take out, then you will give it a, a little bump on his head to go down, then you will count the rotations you do to unleash it, so uh, when you will uh, reinstall it you will do the same rotation numbers, the, the number that you did in the first place. Uh, that way you won't need to redo the, the geometry of the wheels. Uh, after the steering system I, uh, I will take a look at the brakes, at the shock absorber. I, uh, I will take out the shock absorber to see that's an oil system right there, it doesn't use gas. I will take it out to see if it's okay. When I will do the full job on the brakes, I will see if the bearings are okay. We'll substitute them if they're not. Uh, the stability bars, I already took them out and I can tell you they're different. The rear one is different from the, the front one. They're different pieces. Uh, the rubber bush that uses uh, the stock one, the stock piece right here. Uh, I will. Uh, this is the rubber bush that goes from the stability bar to the uh, to the drivetrain. I will. I will call it that way. I will substitute this with uh, system that I made, I made it myself, but I was inspired by the, by the videos I saw on the uh, internet. It's what they call the comfort kit. This one right here, I will call it the, the V4, <laughs> the fourth version of the comfort kit. Uh, on the upper side you see all the pieces I bought to recreate the rubber bush. Um, so it's all uh, high quality steel, high co quality rubber I used, uh, I bought there and to, to simulate the pieces from Renault. The springs uh, are uh, much more powerful than uh, than the ones they used in the past on the first version on the second one because I want to I want the car to have the same stability on the road and uh, I want to gain some comfort uh, you will see you will see that step by step when I will uh, when I when I will uh, install the the stability bars on the car, so uh, I think uh, I think I didn't left nothing behind, and uh, we'll keep you updated. Let's go, guys.
so I'm slowing down just to explain what's going on I had a little fight in this moment so it's better that it's better if I warn you what you're handling with uh, in the first place I took off the brake caliper right here mm, not so very difficult all you have to do is unscrew these two bolts uh, it will come out uh, making a little pressure on the piston because uh, the brake pads are blocked uh, because of this little border right here uh, so it will come out without a fight after that I found myself uh, with uh, battling with this uh, bearing cap so you saw the way I did it uh, using the screwdriver a little shocks and then it comes out you you will find at that point this big this big nut right here I use the 13 a 30 millimeters wrench I used shocks to take it out no problem but then the real fight it's uh, it's this ring right here it's an o-ring so I used uh, in the first place this one right here but it, it could not handle the job then this little guy right here then with the big one I did it I had to use some unlocking uh, liquid, unlocking spray, so finally it came out. As you can see right now I'm using an extractor to pull out the, the, the old disc to insert the new one. I, I already checked the bearing, it's okay, so uh, nothing, let's, uh, let's go further.